Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be they thought you were crazy and shocked. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they thought you were crazy and shocked, right? Now, y'all know what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the uh, little teenagers or kids or maybe even young adults who thought that their parents was born yesterday, right? You know, like I, I grew up on this saying right here, y'all. I was born that night, but not last night. <laughs> you know, and so many people would think that you are crazy and shocked. Now, let me break that down, y'all. What I mean by that is some individuals, family, friends, people who you work with, co-workers, associates, right? Whomever you are, you know, connected to, they feel as if you are not as intelligent, right? Some individuals feel as if you are misinformed or not informed at all. And what I mean by being informed, I'm talking about informed, you know, on what it is that they got going on, you know, informed on what it is that they're trying to portray. And really, they're not that. And so many people are going to look at you just because of your actions, right? Maybe you don't say as much and they're going to judge you off of that. And they're going to think that you just willy nilly out here, y'all. They just going to think that you just somebody who's just, you know, I'm just going with the wind. I'm in the breeze. Are y'all following what I'm saying? Listen, y'all, they are making a big mistake if they feel as if you are not smart. If they feel as if you are misinformed. And if they feel like you are not observing everything that is around you. OK, somebody drop in the comments and say you're making a big mistake. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say you're making a big mistake. Right now, we're going to go ahead and get directly into this video, y'all. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. Not only that, y'all, but y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. And of course, y'all, y'all watch this video entirely through because what I'm about to tell you is about to change your life for the rest of your life, all right? Now, chosen ones, let's get directly into it. Number one, you are an easygoing person. Yup, you are an easygoing person. And so sometimes y'all being the easygoing person can, you know, it can work as a negative and a strike against you. Why? Because people tend to take advantage of those who are easygoing. You know what they mean to be easygoing. You know, you see the male band, hey, what's going on, man? You easygoing. You know, you see the person at the cafeteria, hey, what's going on? You are the type of person who speak to everybody, right? Or at least speak when you're spoken to. You're not a rude individual. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, you know, society try to make you feel bad for being a nice person. You know, um, even myself, y'all, I... I, I'm a huge advocate of being a good person, but not a nice person. But I never tell people that they are wrong because they are being a nice person, right? You're just doing a good deed. However, when you're doing these good deeds, however, when you're showing these gestures, however, when you are communicating to people the way that you do, then, you know, some people are going to feel the urge to take advantage of that, right? But here's the kicker, y'all. Not only will they take advantage of it, but they're going to have this perception of you in their mind and they don't even know you. Y'all, do you know that some of the craziest people are those who are silent? Y'all go look at Snap and y'all going to see a lot of these people snap because people kept pushing them, kept pushing them, kept pushing them. And then finally, they just imploded because of all the things that they had on the inside of them. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? And so you got to realize something. They thought that you were crazy and shocked, but they made a big mistake. And just because you are an easygoing person, okay, it doesn't mean that you are naive. For example, you know, the naive person such as a young teenage girl, right? I feel like they can be some of the most naive. Um, I'm not, and this is not me picking because obviously there's teenage boys who are more naive. But the way I was raised, y'all, uh, you know, boys don't bring back, you know, babies, right? So I say the young teenage girl who's very naive to the older man, maybe he maybe he got the car, right? Maybe he got the money, you know? And guess what, y'all? Maybe he don't, he don't have as much money. But to her, 
two, three hundred, four hundred dollars may look like a big old bag, right? And you know, he's gonna be able to do certain things in front of her. And what I mean by that is he can play in her face a lot, right? Let alone get what he want from her. Why? Because she is a naive girl. See, he he's gonna automatically think that she is crazy and shocked, right? Because she ain't seen nothing. You know, as my mama will always say, I ain't no spring chicken. He knows that she is a spring chicken. And so what he's going to do is, is take advantage of that spring chicken. Why? Because she is a naive person. Bringing it back full circle, y'all. When you are an easygoing person, people would tend to think that you are crazy and shocked. But once again, y'all, they are the ones who's crazy and they are the ones who going to be shocked. Yes, sir. Number two, it's going to be this family. Um... You didn't notice the signs, right? You didn't notice the signs. At least this is what they think. <laughs> See, when people feel as if you don't notice their signs, the the uh I want to say another word, y'all, but we're gonna keep it clean for the YouTube. When people feel as if you don't notice their BS, okay, when people feel like you don't notice the games that they are playing, you know, on you or trying to uh, run on you, you got to understand something, y'all. They're going to feel like, okay, they don't see my game. They don't see, you know, what I'm trying to run on them. They don't see, you know, my whole agenda, right? Like, you got to pay attention to a person's agenda. You got to pay attention to a person's motive, right? Because guess what, y'all? Just, just because a person give you something doesn't mean that it came from the heart. Right. And that's why I speak about that even in the Bible. You know, although he gives, it doesn't mean that he's giving, you know, cheerfully. That's why God only favors a cheerful giver. Right. So getting back to the case in point, y'all, just because they think that you don't notice the signs of their, you know, BS or whatever the case they got going on, y'all. It doesn't mean that you're crazy and shocked. It just means that you're sitting back and observing. Simple as that, y'all. You know, um, <laughs> I want to say this right here, y'all. Uh, I've been watching this series that's been on Netflix. It's called the Men uh, the Menendez Brothers, Monsters Menendez Brothers, right? Um, I think it's a really great series. By the way, y'all need to check that out on Netflix. I'm not getting no type of uh, uh, recognition or any type of, uh, what you call it, y'all? I can't, prestige, commission. Yes, y'all, commission off of this but i think that it shows uh what actually happens in the minds of sociopaths and who knows maybe they were molested maybe they did go through certain things okay I i'm not going to uh diminish that but in my opinion i don't think that you know existed i think that was an angle they took to get themselves you know out of uh jail right or prison but sticking to the point the reason why i say um, they thought that you didn't notice the signs is because I feel like in a sense, that's what the Menendez brothers felt about the uh, the jury, you know, and, you know, even a judge, you know, when a sociopath is acting the way they acting, it takes a person who is uh, intelligent in that field. It takes a person to observe and it takes a person to pay attention to their uh, their patterns. And I think that Lyle, and this is according to the movie, y'all, but I think that Lyle put on a great performance. But his brother Eric put on a terrible one. And so he thought that they didn't notice the signs of a sociopath. You know, he, he felt as if they didn't notice the signs of someone who was unstable. He thought that they didn't notice the signs of a liar, a habitual liar, that is. And so what happens is, y'all, they still get penalized, right? And I'm talking about the Menendez, the, uh, Menendez brothers, okay? And those who are actually doing this. They're still going to get pen uh, penalized because they are e underestimating uh, their opponent. They're underestimating those who actually observe and pay attention, okay? And so, you know, the Menendez brothers thought that they were crazy and shocked. Them people wasn't stupid and them people was not shocked. Now, although they wanted a conviction, the point is they paid attention to them patterns, right? You can't get on the stage and start lying. You can't get on the stage and start, you know, uh, being inconsistent, right? Listen, y'all, they thought they were crazy and shocked, and they had plenty of sense. 
And you know, I don't want to see nobody lose their lives in in, in prison. But obviously, they killed their uh, parents, and this is why they are fifty something years old in prison. But the point is, y'all, bringing it back full circle. Uh, they thought that they didn't notice the signs, but they actually did. Can you believe they actually felt like they had a chance of getting out? Now, a lot of people get away with murder, and I won't take that away. They do. But in this case, it was no chance because it was uh, a lot of inconsistency. It was a lot of lies, all right? And their sociopath was showing, <laughs> you know. But anyway, that's the point, y'all. They thought that you didn't notice the signs, but you actually did. Therefore, they thought you were crazy and shocked, right? Um, number three, y'all, it's going to be this family. You are smarter than uh, what they give you credit for, right? You are smarter than they give you credit for. And so what that immediately makes me think of is when I was in middle school. I had stopped hearing it in high school, right? Because I think that dark skin had fully came in. But when I was in middle school, and oh man, elementary is when I was killing it. Because if you was light skin, oh, you was the most popular. You was cool. Even if you didn't even look as appealing. You could have super crazy big lips, big eyes. But if you light skin, oh man, you passed the test. But you know, in elementary and middle school, they would say, um, Richard looked decent to be dark skin. Richard look okay to be, you know, dark skin. Like, I never heard a person tell me I was ugly, right? I always heard, you look okay to be dark skin. And that's what this reminds me of. Like, you, uh, when people give you, they, they don't give you, they don't give you your full credit, right? Um, as smart as you are, they do not give you your full credit. You know, it's almost like they have to find something that uh, kind of bring you from here to here. They got to find something that diminishes your intelligence. They got to find something that diminishes your genius, right? It's like they don't give you credit. You know, they, they don't give you the credit that you deserve. Even when you think about, you know, um, certain uh, celebrities, you know, some people are overrated and some people are not, right? Some people um, get the credit that they deserve and some people don't, you know, and I feel that um a lot of chosen ones do not get the credit that they deserve in terms of being intelligent in terms of being emotionally strong in terms of being you know um, independent and the list goes on y'all but sticking to the point though you are smarter than they give you credit for right like you have the iq of a genius okay you are able to build so many things not just with your hands but i'm talking about with a plan <laughs> I'm talking about with a plan You know y'all When Harriet Tubman left the uh, plantation You know She showed her genius She put together a plan Yes that took mental strength Yes that took physical strength Period But we're not gonna You know let that We're not gonna let the fact that It took a level of genius too You know To even not only free yourself But go back and get other people too and so that comes right back into it, y'all. You know, um, a lot of people didn't give Harry Tubman for having a genius mind. The genius mind. Everybody say, oh, she's just so strong. Yes, she's strong, but it took a certain level of intelligence. Because back then, if they wasn't that smart. Why? Because they were uh, prohibited, you know, from reading. They couldn't read. It was like a law. You can't read. You can't read. You can't write. And so that gets right back to the point, y'all. You are smarter than what they give you credit for. You really are. And many people will hate the fact that you get your credit, right? They're going to look down on you when you get your credit. They're going to diminish your accomplishments when you get your credit. Y'all following what I'm saying? And so therefore, y'all, they thought that you were crazy and shocked, right? But you're not. Because you are actually smarter than what they give you credit for. And the, and the funny thing is, y'all, they know. They know, but they don't want to tell you that they know. They just play stupid and dumb. Yep, they are y'all just. I, I don't know what's going on around me. Now they know. They know y'all. So that's the third reason why they thought that you were crazy and shot, right? So number four is gonna be this family. Um, time made them comfortable, right? Time made them comfortable. You know, y'all don't time make us all comfortable. <laughs> time make us all comfortable. Uh, break it down, Reno. 
So let's just say a person who has been stealing, right? Such as the person in the, uh, I want to say BMF so bad, y'all. Um, Death Row movie, right? The Death Row movie. And this is actually a true story, right? But when um, I seen in the Tupac movie, right? I don't know why I want to say Death Row movie so bad. But in the Tupac movie, it had the scene when he had got signed to Death Row and he was sitting at the dinner table. I'm sure y'all know. And it was the uh, the bright skin brother with the glasses. And he had been stealing from Suge Knight, right? Sugar Knight. He had been stealing from him. And, you know, I don't know why anybody would want to steal from Suge Knight. I mean, to me, it's a death sentence. To me, it's just crazy, right? However, y'all, he was stealing from Suge Knight and thought that Suge Knight was crazy and shocked. But the reason why he was stealing from him wasn't because he thought that, you know, he was better or he was uh, smarter or he was, uh, you know, just on a higher level. No, it was because he actually got comfortable, right? So I don't think that Suge Knight is stupid. I don't think he's dumb. I just think he's not paying attention. And see, that goes right back to underestimating your opponent, okay? Underestimating people who are around you. You cannot underestimate people. And so, long story short, y'all, he got comfortable with stealing the money from Death Row's account. That's what that was. That was comfortability at its finest. You know why people cheat? The reason why people cheat is because, yes, it's the thrill, but... They get comfortable. You know, they get comfortable. Time. Well, I haven't got caught lately. I haven't got caught in the past two years, the last two, the last five years. And then 20 years go by and you get caught. Bam. 40 years of marriage down the drain. All behind comfort. Time made them comfort. Time made them comfortable. Okay. And whatever it was they were doing, they did it well and so well that you didn't even notice it. Therefore, they thought that you were shocked and crazy. But see, it's something about that intuition, y'all. It's just something about that discernment. It's something about it. And so with that being said, family, you got to understand something. They thought that you were crazy and shocked. Moving on, y'all, to the next one. It's going to be number five. And that is, in their mind, they played you. Right? Let me say it louder, y'all. For my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family. In their twisted mind, they plays you, right? And so, number one, y'all, whenever you try to get over on a good person, there's never going to be uh, a happily ever after situation. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Sometimes, y'all, it happens to be that. But for how long? Right? For how long? Like, I know if a person have done you wrong and then you see them, you know, posting a relationship on social media, right you see them going off and having trips and traveling i get it but how long does that last and then on top of that how do you know that they are truly happy i'm not saying we wish we're wishing you know bad or negativity on somebody but what i am saying y'all is that you can't do bad to a good person and expect to have a good life i made a post on social media y'all i said Doing a good person wrong and expect, <laughs> expecting for God to bless you uh, is diabolical, right? Like, we're all his children, you know, and at some point, you're going to get through that storm, whether you did wrong or bad. However, you still got to go through it so you can learn your lesson, you know, because karma is real, right? You get served what you are deserved. Now, sticking to the point, y'all, the reason why they thought that you were crazy and shocked is because... In their mind, they played you, right? So, it's this video. It's going viral. I'm sure y'all probably seen it. If not, I'm about to tell y'all about it. Um, video that's on uh, Facebook, and I want to say Worldstar. A girl getting her boyfriend to buy uh, her mistress or her side. Are we gonna, man, listen, y'all. The side dude, okay? Y'all know what I'm talking about. She buying her side dude something to eat, okay? Off of the expense or at the expense of her boyfriend. Now, I like the boyfriend because the brother actually smart. He kind of picked up on it and said, Oh, what? You try so you want me to buy you a two for 20 at Applebee's? Right? Okay, send me a picture of your friend. 
And then she starts saying, well, I mean, you don't trust me and all that. You know the manipulation game. And he said, oh, it must be a dude, right? Now, he said the other word, y'all. But he said, oh, it must be a dude. And what she didn't realize is that she was really playing herself because the dude who she was, you know, buying something to eat for her and him, right? He was all in the camera. He recording it. He groping her, right? Because what he's doing is he's showing the world that you ain't ish. You ain't ish. Then the girl was turned around and he even put her head, you know, in her butt and smelled it and said, I said, oh, yeah, she don't even see. <laughs> she don't even see, right? It, it's, it's funny to me, right? And so, number one, the, the boyfriend, he wasn't crazy in shock. He was on game. Long story short, she didn't, he didn't buy that food for her, and I wouldn't either, right? And then secondly, you know, you, you, you think that you're playing this guy by calling the dude, right, in front of the other guy who you're dealing with, calling your boyfriend in front of the dude that you're dealing with and trying to make him look stupid, but really you're making yourself look crazy, right? And so the whole point is, y'all, in their mind, they are playing you, but in actuality, they are playing themselves, y'all. And it's a sad case. It is a sad case, y'all. And, you know, shout out to that brother who didn't come out his pocket with that 20 for two, okay? Because the whole time, she was on BS, okay? We just gonna call it how it is, right? But anyway, y'all, that's gonna be today's video. Uh, they thought you were crazy and shocked, all right? So let's go ahead and get to this recap and then we'll conclude this video. Number one, y'all. Uh, you are an easygoing person. Number two, they didn't, they thought you didn't notice the signs. Number three, you are smarter than what they give you credit for. Number four, time made them comfortable. And number five, in their mind, they played you. However, y'all, this sums up to them thinking that you were crazy and shocked. And they are totally wrong, right? Highly mistaken, y'all. But y'all already know how we do. If you would like to purchase any one of my Yes Sir t-shirts, okay, uh, if y'all would like to rock with my boys Vokaya, y'all can do so. Um, not only that, y'all, uh, enroll into my social influence course or book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can do so all by hitting the link in my description. I'm going to catch y'all beautiful people in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I'll show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality